The MBA bubble is, at its heart, a science experiment in the middle of a global pandemic in a country where medicine somehow became a debate topic, the bubble is a living, breathing position paper on why masks, testing, and rigorous cleaning work to keep people safe. But it's not only about the epidemiology. Oh no, the lab rats here at Disney World are also an elaborate behavioral and emotional research trial. For months now, they have been removed from their families and homes, confined to a relatively small space, and intermittently subject to acute traumatic stressors, like yesterday, when they were forced to grapple with the reality of how little so much of America values black women. Oh, and they're doing all of that while also playing at the most high level of basketball on the planet. Elite teams thrown at each other as if in a particle collider, while we all wait and watch to see who gets spit out into the next round. It's not a surprise, then, that out of these extreme conditions, we're getting some outlier results, like we did last night when Tyler Hero set the nets here at Advent Health Arena on actual fire. Hero was born in the year 2000 and should absolutely positively not be capable of operating this way. And yet there he was in game four of the Eastern Conference Finals, scoring 37 points in 35 minutes off the bench. There is only one other human on earth who has done anything remotely like that, at that age, at that level. And it is Magic Johnson in 1980, <laughs> which for Jeez. those of you scoring at home was 40 years ago. What's even more impressive is the timeliness of Heroes Buckets. The Heat led last night after a first half in which one of the young stars on the Boston side went inexplicably cold. Honestly, Jason Tatum looked so tentative, so off balance going 0 for 6. There was rampant speculation he was secretly injured. It turns out he wasn't. And in fact, in the second half, he not only found his game, but was able to key the Celtics' grit. For a few minutes, it appeared Boston would in fact succeed in evening up these Eastern Conference Finals at two games apiece. Except, yeah, then Tyler Hero happened. <laughs> this is a kid who, when the Heat drafted him at number 13, it was considered actually a bit of a reach. ESPN had him ranked at 17th. Sports Illustrated had him at 15th. And yet, in a science experiment, it's not the hypothesis that carries the day, but the evidence. And the evidence last night was resounding. Take a look at this. You're a step to the basket and no problem. It was just beautiful. Like, you look at this. Look at the way he can move, he can go. And it's like the floater. It wasn't even just, he does it in such a variety of ways, in and out. Look at the reverse. Like, come on, with the filet. <laughs> he just, you know what he does? He plays the game at a difficult level very, very easily. Look at this dribble between the legs, right? <laughs> and then he's going to launch here. Vince, this is like basically from the Bahamas. That's first team but all defense that he's going the, against. Yeah. And here's the thing. He's setting him up. He's setting him up for that dribble to sleep, get to your one, two dribble to your step back. He knew he was going to take that shot. And he ain't even sweating. <laughs> Look, Hero right. would score 17 points in the fourth quarter alone. And, and Boston did pull it impressively close in the final minute. But then Jimmy Butler, icing the game with free throws. And Miami, they, they just let loose and celebrated their young rookie. Afterward, I asked Hero about his confidence. There is no situation that seems too big for you. Your swagger, according to your teammates, is off the charts. <laughs> I was watching a highlight from you in college, and you said to the rest of the people on the court, I'm a bucket. Yeah. Where did this come from? Uh, I mean, that's just who I am. You know, I grew up like that, and I'm going to stay like that for as long as I'm in the league. But, um, you know, it's just a good win for us tonight. He's a bucket, baby. <laughs> Amazing. You know, science experiments are a funny thing. Sometimes they prove well-worn truisms, but other times they discover a new element entirely. In the NBA bubble, that's Tyler Hero, and he's causing an absolute bona fide chemical reaction that's got Miami one win away from the conference finals. No, not the conference NBA finals. finals. One yeah. win away from the NBA, NBA finals. Vince, I, I can't even quite believe it. <laughs> Is Tyler Hero proving to be the difference maker for the Heat with everyone else on that floor? I tell you what, you showed that picture of, of, of Jimmy Butler and Bam, and now you would add Tyler Hero. Two months mm -hmm. ago, you might not have done that. And, and, and I tell you what, he's earned the right uh, to, to, to be talked about, and he's definitely earned the right to be a go-to guy. Uh, for Let's say for three quarters, he's a guy that you can put the ball in his hand and let him lead his team 
to victory or at least lead them into the fourth quarter because you know who takes over in the fourth quarter for the Miami Heat. So now mm -hmm. they're becoming a three headed monster uh, in Miami and they trust this guy at 20 years old. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it, it's so impressive. And, you know, what, what I like about what he did is he helped pick up other players. You saw Jay Crowder uh, struggled uh, to score. Mm -hmm. There were a couple of other players that really kind of struggled to get a rhythm. And, and I stand by this. I was talking to multiple people, and it was like, if Tyler Hero scored 27 points, that is an ungodly number for a rookie to do in the conference finals. They don't win this game. It was the fact that he was able to do 37 points, 17 in the fourth quarter, timely buckets. That is next level when it comes to, like, the things that are required from players on a basketball court. Like, he does it in such an easy, smooth way. And you look at this. He's not yeah. even sweating. He's right, not even sweating right, and, right and, now. And that's what just makes it so RJ, unique. Yeah, go ahead. And, RJ, to add no. to that, it was no hesitation in any move. It wasn't any mm -hmm. indecisiveness. He knew what he wanted to do. If you look on the reverse, he holds it out to the left side for Tatum to feel like he's going to block it so he can reverse. He sets up the dribble because he knows he's going to go to a step back. He's very comfortable, obviously skilled, but very comfortable in his skin and in this moment. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.